What is up studs and lovelies? My name is Heather, I'm the lovely critic. It is new comic book time and we have three new comics that are gonna blow your mind. Or maybe not. We shall see. Okay, anyways, I'm super excited, so let's just jump into it. You guys know I love talking about comics, and I don't know if I make any sense or not, but to me, I do, and that is all that matters. So, okay, Rogue Planet. Rogue Planet is from Oni Press. Oni Press, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. But Colin Bunn, Colin Bunn he used to work at the fantasy shop in St. Charles and that's actually where I get all of my comics and the fantasy shop in St. Charles is all around St. Louis. There are a few locations so make sure that you guys stop in and get your comics and you never know you might see like a future writer or a future artist or a future typist person that does the texting text texter texting ish -er. okay anyways see somebody that is gonna be diving into the world in a super creative way anyways <laughs> so he came out with rogue planet this is super awesome because if you have ever seen futurama it super reminded me of yivo that like uh tentacle guy oh my goodness i'm not even kidding you uh love the tentacle like this is so awesome it just reminded me of that it's super fun it just um like weird and gross and obviously there's an alien but the whole alien thing is like a whole bunch of aliens all mixed together and like eyes and lungs and teeth and mouth and stuff and then it's like that sound didn't mean something but you have to read it and then you'll know exactly you'll know exactly when to use that sound while you're reading it so if you guys want me to make that as a sound effect i can do that for you so anyways <laughs> rogue planet is really good um andy mcdonald and nick filardi are also a part of this amazing amazing masterpiece and i i think it's awesome i have never read an owning comic before and um i'm definitely going to be watching or i'm going to be watching out for this one to come out um i really like it and i really enjoyed it so super cool and yes it's just like that future on my episode but not the same at all so just keep that in mind okay all right next um dr afra star wars marvel always have to do something marvel because i love marvel and i just want to shout out to marvel <laughs> Love you guys. Um, anyways, <laughs> anyways, Marvel came out with um, another run of Dr. Afra. Her last run stopped in December with 40 issues, 80, 40 issues, 40 issues. And now she's restarting again with another new adventure and it's gonna be super awesome. And this is super cool. Um, to me, I did not read the first run of this. So when it came out before, the one that ended in December didn't read it. This reminds me of like a Star Wars version of Guardians of the Galaxy. They're like treasure hunters. They just want money, but they're also bad guys, but they're also good guys. And it's super awesome. If you love Guardians of the Galaxies, but you really like Star Wars as well, I think you guys will really like this. This is awesome. Please pick it up. I'm adding this to my pool. I really like it. It's super awesome. Okay. Um, also, you, oh, my favorite part right here. Look at this. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that thing in action. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, anyways, next, Dead Day. <laughs> Dead Day is so awesome. All right, Aftershock came out with this. This is Dead Day. This is one that I wanted to read, but I didn't know if I was going to get into it, but I was excited for it, and I really did get into it, and this is one of my favorites right now. Um, I put this one up with hmm, what was another one of my favorites recently i read way too many comics um folklores i put this up there with folklores i think that this is absolutely amazing it is something new and something ridiculous and cool and crazy and zombie like anyways um so the day of the dead or dead day dead day People are getting ready because like once every so often, but it's not like an every year thing, just randomly people will rise from the dead and it's like 
is it a conspiracy? Some say, some say it's aliens, some say it's whatever, and some are gonna be nice, some you have to try to protect yourself and kill, and there's like a love triangle in here at the end, which is pretty cool, actually. Um, so there's like super backstory, but they really jumped right into it, and there's no confusion, no nothing, dead date is awesome. I really recommend picking this up, and um, if they don't have any more, if anybody wants to borrow it, you can, because I think that everyone needs to read this because it's amazing, and I'm super excited. I don't know um, a lot about Aftershock comics. I'm still uh, like broadening my horizon. So um, I'm, I'm really excited to see what else that they have to put out. But this one's cool. You can go find your family because they like come out of the grave and whatever. And then there's some people who just cremate them because they don't believe in the rising from the dead and all this stuff. But I think it'd be pretty cool to meet some zombies that were like, hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? Anyways. <laughs> all right. So day, <laughs> dead day. Um, Dr. Afra and Rogue Planet. Those are my picks for this week. They're super awesome. And yeah, don't forget to go by your local comic book store, guys. For me, it is the Fantasy Shop in St. Charles. There's a bunch of locations all around, so make sure that you check them out. And I'm only making this video once, so this is the winner. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, guys, bye. Have a great day.